Joe Patty here, and tonight I have a little tiny crazy idea. <laughs> that sounds logical to me, but I'm going to try something. It just sounds like a, a fun idea, actually. Let's say that. It's a fun idea, and we'll see if it's going to work out or not. So here's my idea. I took a little silicone mold that I had, and I put some silly in it like that, so I can make maybe like a little geode or whatever, and try to make a, a freeform homemade little geode out of one tiny little coaster mold. And what I'm going to do is mix up some resin and put the silver with these little beads in there in the middle there. Well, I don't want to put it in my hand because i got sparkles everywhere. With those little glass beads, I'll show you. Hang on here. Okay. These little glass beads. And I'm going to put that in there in the middle around here. And then I'm going to take the blue and green and the glitter and put it on the outside like that. And then... Maybe even use some of these. I don't know. We'll see how much room I have. But I have some of these other little glitter pieces right there. And we'll see. Like maybe uh, sticking out on the sides or something, you know. And we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to use that or not. I might be getting in over my head here. <laughs> and then when it's done, also it says it be so blue and silvery. I thought I'd take my, um, my deco color pen and silver. It's a silver leaf pen. And go around the edges when it's dry. And maybe put some glitter on that. So it'll be really cool. Too bad this isn't more freeform, but I could probably make it freeform if I, I could cut it and put tape on certain edges. And silicone on certain edges or whatever. But anyway, we'll see. So let's give it a whirl, everybody. Let's give this a try. Wish me luck, everyone. <laughs> if you got any ideas out there on how to better this and what you think, let me know. Let's have some fun, guys. Okay, everybody, I've mixed up my resin here, and let's see how it works out. I'm going to pour it in the silver one first. I might even have a little too much in here, but better to have too much than not enough, especially when you're trying to experiment with something. Let's see. See how it's gonna work out. All right, you guys, this is just a little experiment. I want to see how it turns out. Let's see. I think I should start myself in the middle here and work my way out. So let's see. Well, I hope this turns out. I think it'd be kind of cute, everybody. So cute, so cute, so cute. All right, now. Pancake batter here. I don't want it to go too much more. It's going to cave over. <laughs> I might have too much in there as it is. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to that and just kept pouring. Kind of worried about that. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Let's pop the bubbles, everybody. sand it down, you know, use my hand sander and sand it down and because as this gets warmer, it spreads. Yep, she's moving in over there, guys. I don't want that. I have to keep an eye on that. Let's see. I think I'll try and take some out here. I have no choice because I don't want a problem with it. I'll just dip it over here. that's what's coming out maybe it's that maybe it's the silver that's leaking over and not the blue 
and we'll get some more silly putty and put it on top, but I don't know. Might be too late for that. I don't think I have a high enough dam over here. I might have to babysit it for a while and just scrape, keep scraping it. Either way, then there, at least there'll be just like a silver, a real thin, well not silver, it'll be a real thin line of resin going over there and I can always sand that down or break it. Maybe it'll come off with the silly putty. It'll be thin. But see, I see that's what the problem is now. I didn't make that dam big enough. Tall enough, whatever. Well, we shall see, everybody. We shall see. All right, so we got this resin here. You know, I'll make a... Uh, a little ombre kind of mini coaster. <laughs> All right, guys, this sat a while. Um, 12 hours later, I checked on it, and it was still kind of soft. It's really cold where I'm at, and um, I work over here by the window, even though I leave the curtains pulled. It's just really tough, because I can't keep an even temperature in the house, and tonight it's like another 40 below zero. It's just really cold. I mean, the schools have been closed for a week. Nobody can go anywhere. Nobody's cars will start. <laughs> even the trash pickup guy won't come. So it's really hard for me to get my resin on track. But I think this will be the last resin project I do for a while. <laughs> Let's see how it turned out. First, I poured the leftover of trying to make this little geode in here just because I just wanted, I didn't want to waste the resin. That turned out really pretty. It'd make a nice little coaster. And I wanted to tell you something, you guys, about coasters. Sorry about my painted nails and everything. I'm really dirty here. <laughs> I want to tell you something about coasters. Everybody seems to have a problem, and I do too, of... Um, hot mug stick into your coasters I have noticed that after about 60 days your coasters uh, seem to really cure hard and my mugs don't stick to it the hot mugs don't so I wanted to tell you guys that and you gotta be patient and wait it out and then I also know that I put this on the coasters too so I don't know if that helps or whatever but you guys should get some of this I swear by it it really buffs out your um, like with wax paper and stuff too, it really buff, buffs out your resin pieces and it gets out any little tiny scratches and it, it sinks in a nice little uh, base on there. Okay, now onto this geode, homemade little geode. Upon further review, I wish I would have stuck little pieces of, um, little pieces of the silly putty like on the sides here. You know, and that way the geode would have more of a natural form to it. So that's something to know for next time. But for now, that's just, wow, it still feels bendy. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Boy, I don't know if that will come off there. It should, from my other experiments I had. That, uh. But this is still bendable, so I don't want to bend it all out of shape. I'm going to have to wait a while, a little bit longer, you guys. But it looks good so far. I'm going to let it sit. Oh, this weather. I'm just going to let it sit a little longer. So that way it won't bend all to hell when I try to take the <laughs> silly putty out. It looks like it uh, turned out pretty good. Lots of options there to make it better. Maybe set it down and then on empty spaces, pour some ink in there, ink-colored resin in there. Okay. I'll be back when that is good and uh, cured.
All right, everybody, we are going to now unmold this thing and get that silly putty out of there and see what it looks like. But first, I want to show you what I did with that leftover resin little coaster mold that I had. I'm going to uh, turn this into a refrigerator magnet. Isn't that cute? So cute, so cute, so cute, everybody. I got a mommy seahorse and her baby. Really pretty. Okay, now let's do this. Let's try to, uh, well, it's hard enough, but the silver part is going to be disconnected from there. That's why I'm going to have to put it down in, uh, in the mold again and go around it. Look at that, everybody. How cool is that? Got a couple cool pieces here. I like that side better, just like this. I like the way that does. This is so cool. So I'm going to put it back. I'm going to file this down a little bit. And then I'm going to put it back in its mold. Like that. Fill it in with some different uh, shades, color shades or whatever. And see what we can get. I like both sides of it. It's really cool. I do like the side that uh, it's sticking up though. I like that. I want it 3D looking. So I think I'm going to make this into a refrigerator magnet. It's going to be really cool. Let me give you a close-up of these two, and then uh, show you what I did next. All right, everybody, here's what I did get this down I put some packaging tape down instead of putting it back in its mold and I put it on the packaging tape and we're going to uh, unmold it here and see what happens because packaging tape is like silliputty only silliputty you can make shapes with it and packaging tape you're just sealing the resin in a one stable spot. Oof. There we go. All right. Now, let's take a look at that. I like it. I wish it was more of that freeform look. I wish I would have put the silly putty in different spots, but we learn, right? There's a little silly putty there. I got to clean it up a little bit. It looks fun. I took a, um, after I put it down on the packaging tape, I went ahead and put, um, a little bit of uh, resin in there and one drop of green ink. I wanted a little bit of transparency in there. Now, what I want to do now is take this diamond glaze that I have. And I'm going to just for funsies, put it in the middle here. This will come out real shiny too. And I'm going to go ahead and add this uh, glittery things. <laughs> These little sticks. Like I said, I wasn't sure if I was going to add or not, but let's just see. sticking out here and there now I know I could go ahead and take some tweezers and make it just so just real perfect sticking up on the edges like a geo would look like the you know the little rocky parts are just pointed and coming out all over the place but I like it like this and I still don't know I was gonna take this silver leaf pen and go around the edges and I'm gonna turn this into a refrigerator magnet so I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry real quick and put the silver edges on and put the magnets on and I'll show you the finished result. All right, I put the magnet on the back and while I'm letting that dry, I thought I'd go ahead and tell you guys to grab your paints, your resin and your glitters and don't forget your ruby slippers. In other words, do things your way, you guys, any way you want to. And now for your meditation thought for today before we flip this baby over. Don't be upset, everybody, by the results you didn't get from the work you didn't do. <laughs> all right, everybody, let's take a look at this. Here she is, all done. I did the Deco Art Silver Leaf Pen on the sides and covered it up with some glitter. Now, there she is. Now, I'll put it on the refrigerator for you guys to see, along with some other art project little things I've been working on. 
All right, I want to tell you guys, it's dark in here. I'm sorry, but this is just a little bit of work I'm doing here. Some of my little magnets I'm working on. And here we go. There it is. So pretty, these two I did together. Oh look, I forgot I got my fortune sticking up there. Look at that. Here's my fortune, everybody. A ship in the harbor is safe, but that is not what a ships are built for. Take risks and venture out of your comfort zone. If you don't move beyond where you are today, you will never have more or be more. There is a trip that you have been thinking of taking. Go. You will make some valuable new contacts. <laughs> On that note, everybody... Thank you for watching. Arrivederci, everybody. See you again soon. Back in the studio. Okay, does anybody know who this is?